that mission takes the tobacco shop? Yes, that's Mr. Sweet Park. Uh, I am Hyung Soon. Is uh, Shin Taehyun? No. I guess you know our relationship. <clears throat> Quite a place. Uh, would you happen to have a cigarette? I thought she was just talking big. I'll be flying again, all right. Do you think you can squeeze another 300 out of the tobacco stock? May I ask if it is your intention to sell it once? Well, I mean, it was decent for it to come out with 200, but they aren't much use with the other 300 still missing. Shinte was over hasty, promising so much. She may have to sell the shop itself to raise it. Haste, they say, is the wind that blows the house down. Oh, she isn't a girl to keep a man waiting. For one thing or another, if you take my meaning. I take your meaning? Uh-huh. What exactly do you plan on doing with this 500 silver dollars? Want to sell me up? There you go. The director of the Peking Airfield is an old friend of mine from flying school. I give him 500, he gets me the job. The price is high. And how does these things go? We'll have to fire one of his present pilots for negligence. Only the pilot he has in mind isn't negligent. It's not easy to understand. You need to mention that part to Shintang. Mr. Young's son, you are asking my cousin to give up her position, possessions, Leave her friends, place her entire fate in your hands. I presume you intend to marry her? I'd be prepared to. Those 200 silver dollars could pay the rent here for six months. If you were Shin Tae, wouldn't you be tempted to continue in business? What? Can you imagine Yong soon the flyer behind the counter? A, a strong cigar or a mild one, worthy sir. Not in this century. My cousin wishes to follow the promptings of her heart. From her own point of view, she may even have what is called the right to love. Accordingly, she has commissioned me to help you to this post. There is nothing here that I'm not empowered to turn immediately into cash. Mrs. Mitsu, the landlady, will advise me about the sale. Good morning, Mr. Shmita. You wish to see me about the rent? As you know, it goes due the day after tomorrow. Circumstances have changed, Mrs. Mitsu. My cousin is getting married. Her future husband here, Mr. Young's son, will be taking her to Peking. I'm interested in selling the tobacco stock. How much are you asking, Mr. Shweta? Three hundred silver. Five hundred silver dollars. <clears throat> How much did she pay for it, Mr. Shweta? <clears throat> a thousand. A very little has been sold. She was robbed. But I'll make you a special offer if it promised to be out by the day after tomorrow. Three hundred silver dollars. Take it, man, take it. It is not enough. Why not? Certainly it's enough. Five hundred silver dollars. But why? We only need three. Excuse me. The tobacco stock was pledged to the old couple who gave my cousin the 200. Well, is it in writing? No. The 300 will do. Of course I need assurance that Miss Shente is not in debt. Mr. Shuita? She is not in debt. When can we have the money? The day after tomorrow. And remember, I'm doing this because I have a soft spot in my heart for young lovers. Boxes, jars, and sacks. We're ready for the lot, the pain's all over. But where else can we get the money by the day after tomorrow? Nowhere. Now, haven't you enough for the trip oh, in the first few weeks? Certainly. How much, exactly? I don't know. I'll, I'll dig it up somewhere, even if I have to steal it. I see. Well, don't fall off the roof about it. I'll get to Peking somehow. Two people can't travel for nothing. I'm leaving her behind. No millstones around my neck. Oh. Don't look at me like that. How precisely is my cousin to live? Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. Small request, Mr. Young's son. Leave the 200 silver dollars here until you can show me two tickets for Peking. You learn to mind your own business, Mr. Sweet. I'm afraid Miss Shinte Mena wished to sell the shop when she discovers You don't know women. She'll want to. Even then. She is a human being, sir, not devoid of common sense. Shinte is a woman. She is devoid of common sense. I only have to lay my hands on her shoulder and church bells ring. Mr. Young's son. Mr. Shui, whatever it is. My cousin is devoted to you because, because I have my hands on her breasts. Give me a cigar. Tell her I'll marry. Then bring me the 300 silver dollars. Or have her bring it. 
one or the other. Well, he has your cousin under his thumb and doesn't care if all Yellow Street knows it. That close to the shop. He doesn't love me. 